as astonishing as some of the detective work may seem. This is the truth. The most important thing when a police officer arrives at the scene of a death and the cause of that death is not blatantly clear, that police officer must think murder until proven otherwise. And of course, as a very part of that, the scene must be preserved because so often a dead body and the crime scene will give up its secrets and will lead to the truth. Only allow the people onto it who should be there. In other words, the forensic scientists and perhaps the photographer. Nobody else needs to go trampling all over it, potentially destroying, contaminating and removing vital, vital evidence. Preserving the crime scene rules apply just as much to somebody who has unfortunately just been killed or even, say, to a corpse found in a suitcase that may have been buried and hidden for weeks, months or even years. When you first arrive at a crime scene, there might be something that is blatantly obvious. For example, a weapon with blood on it or blood spatter patterns going up the wall or across the floor. But of course, a detective will never assume anything. There may be much evidence which is hidden, which cannot be seen by the naked eye and will only be discovered through the brilliance of forensic scientists. So never assume anything. Preserve everything and keep that crime scene intact. The family of that murder victim will have a detective appointed to work with them who is called a family liaison officer. Don't be deceived by the title because whilst liaising with the family is a large part of what they do, they are nonetheless detectives and they are there to find things out, to uncover evidence if it's there and they are as vital a new Scotland Yard detective as the officer who finds the murder weapon or arrests the suspect. Victims, their loved ones, their families should always be put front and centre of any investigation. It's a sad and harsh fact that often those relatives may know something that will help the investigation. So not only should they be treated with the utmost respect, but they sometimes need to be asked quite probing questions because they will have the secrets that will give you the key to unlock the case. There are some killers out there, serial killers in particular, who want fame themselves. And I don't want to give them that fame. Focus on the victims. Focus on the people who have suffered an unimaginable, heartbreaking loss. As for the serial killers, those whose vile and revolting acts have caused so much damage, hurt and upset, I really don't want to make them famous. All I want to do is see them where they rightfully belong, which is in a jail cell, so they will never, ever taste freedom again. There are many things in TV dramas that are quite frankly not true. For example, you may see a geographical profiler that will pin down an offender's address and even give you the door number. That's not quite how it works. New Scotland Yard Files is most definitely not a drama series. These are documentaries. These are what really happened. As astonishing as some of the detective work may seem, this is the truth.